See that? I get asked all the time about my jig trailers and then even my chatterbait trailer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to rig the perfect jig trailer. It's gonna be a short video, probably three to five minutes. A pair of scissors, we're definitely gonna need those. Bag, GoPro case. Take out the old jig box and what we're gonna do, you see that? We're gonna take out a 3 8 ounce casting jig. See the arky head, has no trailer on there. Close up the jig box. Go up here into the compartment where I keep the plastics. I kind of figured I had to make a video about this because I get people asking me a lot of questions. You got the uh, uh, the Rage Craw peanut butter and jelly color cowboy craw jig. Show you that again, the casting jig. Get the old bag closed up. Jig and plastic down here. Try not to make a mess. I, too late for that. Okay, so. Here is what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna tell you the way I do it. You don't have to do it this way. Everybody has their own way that they like. But when I go to put a jig on a trailer, a trailer on a jig, well, I like to separate the skirt, all right? Now when you separate that skirt, you're gonna notice that it's gonna open the bait up more. You don't have to do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. But when you get the bait open more, You'll see why I like to do it that way. I originally pulled these in that direction. That looks pretty good. You don't, like, like I said, you don't have to do this, but I do like to have the skirt apart to an extent, and you will see why. That is when you rig the bait, and you pull your weed guard to put the plastic on there, it's just gonna make it easier. Plus, I've actually had it where I put a trailer on the jig, and part of the skirt was all tangled but anyway open your pack of rage craws it's the peanut butter and jelly color and i have found that peanut butter and jelly does go very well with the cowboy craw super easy all you're gonna do whether it's a rage craw yum christy craw cracking craw you'll see these ribs on the craw okay one two three four five go to the second one cut it at the second rib put the plastic back in my bag and then i like to have the dark side on top and the light side on the bottom so and you'll see the purple flake on the skirt of the cowboy craw pull the skirt or not the skirt the weed guard and you're not going to hurt it put the hook into the middle of the bait sometimes i like to go a little past the middle that's because the keeper right there for the plastic will come out of the groove in a rage craw and yes, I do rig it this slow on purpose. You'll go down into the bait. Now you gotta remember, on when you get jigs with a four out or a five out hook, you're not gonna have to go down as far because it's a bigger hook. So if you rig it too far down or it's messed up, it's probably because you went too far into the bait. I'll go down and I'm gonna, until it, right when it bends is when I'll go up into the bait and you're gonna come out. Now you'll see it come out of the groove and if it's done perfectly, it'll be straight. You'll go up the jig onto the keeper and like i said if you do it perfectly once you tie it on it'll be straight that's perfectly straight you see that you see how that rage craw that peanut butter and jelly just hangs past the skirt now i did trim the skirt a little bit not too much i could probably trim it a little bit more but that is how you rig your perfect jig trailer